Hey everyone, this is Bo again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update and change the theming in your Flutter app as well as customize the colors that you input into that theme. If you like the video or find it useful, click the like button and subscribe. So naturally, the default color in Flutter is always going to default to the Flutter blue. I've actually added in a button to show off uh, how theming works and I've defaulted the colors to be red for a border and a red for the button itself with a white text for login. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our main file. This is the root file in your app. And underneath material app where you're referencing where the home screen should go, you'll find this theme variable. If you don't have it, you can add it in and it's set equal to a theme data object. Like I said, naturally it's going to default to flutter blue, colors.blue, but I want to add in my own uh, Blyle Dev purple color. And so what I'm going to do is I actually have a hex code that I want to add in for this. And so I'm going to say 0xff and note that I use color, not colors. And I'm going to add in the rest of that hex code. And you'll see that it adds in Flutter pur or Blyle Dev Purple. And it's updated our app bar to reflect that color. Now I also want to update the button to also reflect that color. And so one way that I can do that is since I have it hard coded in here, the value, I can reference the theme color by saying theme.of context.primary color. And you'll see here that it updates the color of my button to reflect that of the primary color listed in our theme. So you'll see here also the border is still red. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to update the border color to reflect that same primary color. And that fixes that. Now another cool thing you can do with theming is you can actually add in theming for text. So I'm going to add text theme and I'm going to say body text one. So this is going to be the default body text that I'm going to be utilizing in this app. And I'm going to use a text style object and I'm going to say let's make the color to be just the regular red and let's say font size will be 20. So it's going to be a really small text and it's going to be the color red. And I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to make my login text equal to that. And so in a similar manner, we're going to say theme.of context dot text theme dot body text one. And you'll see that there it goes and it updates the theme. Now the cool thing about theming is it's not just text and regular colors that you can reference, but you can set icons, menu bars, buttons, you can set their theming here and unless you overwrite it, it's always going to default to that base theming that you've established. And this way you can keep an app looking clean and seamless throughout the entire project. And you don't have to worry about what goes where and what should be themed as what. Now it does take a little bit of planning to make sure that your theme looks good and consistent throughout your whole app, but with a little bit of planning and a well-defined theme, you'll have a very clean, sleek looking app. If you have any questions related to theming, comment below.